What sucks about this now is everyone's trying to get you worried about your money. You see all those uh, commercials on TV about identity theft. You heard those like, oh, they're going to steal your identity. They're going to steal who you are. I got worried about this. I checked my bank account last week. No money in it. <laughs> my identity is safe. <laughs> I fight identity theft with an aggressive poverty campaign. That's, that's I, forget. I was thinking about it. Who wants to steal this? Really? I walked around in my underwear all day eating ham and cheese sandwiches. You can have that. At this point, I'm not worried about people taking my identity for profit. I'm worried about my identity leaving one day. Like an angry housewife who's just had enough. It's bullshit. At this point, I want somebody to steal my identity. I'm like, please, take my identity. Show it the life I never could. <laughs> Buy it nice things. Take it to Florence and Milan. Because I'm doing nothing productive with it at all. I'm not. Money is tight, man. Especially in New York. Everyone gets busted for, like, money-related situations. Like, our old governor. You remember him? Governor Spitzer? He got... Get caught having sex with prostitutes. Yeah, fuck him. All right. Was that who said that? You were him. Yeah. Or you? Okay, cool. Why? Do you hate hookers for some reason? In general. In general. Oh, okay. you hate everything. You just ruined Christmas. Do you know that? Thanks. Oh, I know. She's awful. Yeah, and she was charging way too much. You're like, she was. She was charging. Listen, you think a New York cooker, you're like, I suck a dick for $10. That's a, that's a New York cooker, like a dollar even. You know, like a set price, like the hot dogs. It never fucking changes in New York. That's what you want. That's what you want. No, $5,000 in two hours with one hooker. Yo, I'm from Brooklyn, okay? All right, you give me five grand, I'll find you four girls to stay six weeks. You know what I mean? Forget I mean, yeah, somebody else. Oh, this fucking holiday. I don't want to spend money on anybody. I'm getting everybody a shitty gift and I'm blaming it on the economy. That's what I'm doing. My fucking mother is going to wake up Christmas morning like, Oh! My name and macaroni. <laughs> nice. Thanks. Like, I love you, Mom. Fucking <laughs> bullshit. It is weird around this time of year because I'm dating again. Um, I'm dating my ex. Who's always fun. I can stop stalking her now. That's the big thing. It's, always, like a, it's a weird relationship. I was raised Roman Catholic and she was raised Jewish. So we started the relationship off with a 2,000 year old argument that did not end anytime soon. And she's coming over. She's coming over to my parents' house for, for her very first Christmas this year. Since she killed Jesus. And, um, we're hoping it's going to go well. We'll see. That's my problem. I always date Jewish girls. Oh, wait, my last five girlfriends have all been Jewish. I figured out why. Apparently, I'm not a very good looking Italian. However, I'm a really sexy Israeli. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, and it works for everybody. I'm serious. All of you, go home, look in the mirror. You might be really hot as another race and not even know it. You have no idea. Look in the mirror like, oh my god, I'm an amazing looking Ecuadorian. This is so fucking cool. I have no idea. This is great. This is great. And we're learning more about each other now because it's the second time around. And I've learned you gotta keep it fresh in bed. You gotta keep it fresh. Like she, uh, she's into the phone sex, uh, which is weird because I get phone calls from her at like four in the morning, and she calls me up. She's like, "Hey, I'm wearing those pretty pink panties. You know the ones with the lace. Your turn." I have no idea how to respond to this. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm wearing them Scooby Doo boxes. <laughs> You know, the ones with the bleach stain and the big hole in the crotch. 